Hello everyone, welcome to snippet number six. I hope you're enjoying them, I'm absolutely loving them. So this was snippet number five, which you can see I absolutely love that. I added the little bird and I just love that. And I love this strip so much. What I want you to do for your next one is do exactly the, the same thing we did for number five and create that strip. But this time, create the strip with, I've created it with the quill ends. So the same way we masked off the area for number five, do exactly the same for number six, but use a different stamp set. And I've used stamp set 908 quill ends. I didn't think there was any need to do that again because you've seen that for number five. But what I want you to show you is, for this snippet, how you can make something so... We start in exactly the same way, but how you can make the snippet look completely different with the same technique of just having this bar across. So what we're going to do then is we're going to stamp our birds. So you're going to stamp your bird. So we're going to use the quill ends again. And you're going to stamp the bird. And I want you to stamp the bird and cut the bird out and stamp him three times. So you want that bird three times. And then you actually want the little pen nib as well. So I want you to stamp the pen nib and cut out the pen nib. So I want you to stamp this and cut out the pen nib. So you need the pen nib and three birds. And then finally, on the same stamp set, all the same stamp set, I want you to stamp out the word artist. Okay. That's a dry wipe, which will do nothing. So I want you to cut out three birds. So you want three of them and you want a pen nib. And then when you've stamped that word out, the artist, I want you to just cut out art so that you've got this. So you've got that word art, okay? And what I'm trying to show you in this snippet is how you can make it look different using the same techniques. What I'm going to do then, because this stamp has got black on, I'm just going to give that a wipe over because we've got all that black ink on there. Normally, we could let that dry and then go in with our colour afterwards. But I can't do that, let it dry during a snippet. So I'm just giving this a little bit of a blot. What I'm going to do then is, so you've got this. I've just added my number six. And so you can see, we've got this where I've stamped the bird in the same way we did with snippet number five. So again, with snippet number five, we added these scratchy lines. So I want you to take a piece of card and just add a few of those scratchy lines again, like we did in the previous snippet. Then I'm going to take the same image and I'm just going to ink up just with the brown ink. Can decide what I want to use afterwards because what I can do is I can get rid of any ink on the beard and I can get rid of any ink on the pen nib so that I just end up with a little bit of the circle with the pen nibs in so that I just end up with a little bit of that so just make sure that the beard has not got any ink on. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the stamping, just of the nibs, etc. Just to the background, just to give it a little bit of a touch of inking little bit of a touch of stamping 
So what you're going to end up with is just that touch of stamping there, which is in Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. Again, I've used the same size card, four inches by six inches. These are the pieces that we've got. So I've, I've got my three birds, which I've asked you to cut out. And then I'm going to add these three birds to my project. So just add the three birds to my project. And it's making it look different than the previous page. So we're going to have one there. And it's going to make it look completely different to the previous page. But I don't want you to always think that you do one technique, then you've got to race off to another technique. Because there's always ways of developing it a little bit further and changing it up. There's my second little bird. Like so. And then it's up to you where you decide to put the third. Pick it up, Tracy. The third bird. Do you want it there? Or do you want it here? I like mine here, just more towards the right. So we're just going to add that little snippet just so that, and then gone, I'm going to put it here. I'll explain why I've changed my mind. Because when I've placed them, I don't want to cover this beard up. So that's why I suddenly changed my mind, because I don't want to cover that beard up. I'm then going to take this little pen nib and I love how the pen nib has got the little bird on as well at the top, just at the top here. I love that. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of vintage photo. Now, if you wanted to change this up a little bit even further, you could add some glossy accents to your pen nib or you could clear emboss. Obviously, I'm not. I'm creating something in 15 minutes. So I'm then going to add my pen nib here to give some balance, just so it flows down here and gives me that balance because it works quite nicely. And then I'm going to take my little art word that I cut out from that text that said art, the artist. I've just cut out the word art. One stamp can do so much. I'm then going to add the word art. And what you really should do is grab a pair of tweezers that makes it a little bit easier to grab hold to this. I'm then going to add that word art just to the top there. Just gives a beautiful flow. What I'm going to do then is just take some water. I started it. Take some water, preferably not with that red in. Always make sure, always make sure your brush is clean. Always work clean. Make sure your water isn't muddy. So then I'm going to pick up that and I've already started it here. So I'll just start it on this bit. And because, as you know from snippet number five, we added Distress Oxide, we blended Distress Oxide to that panel. So because we've got that Distress Oxide in that panel, it reacts with the water. And we're just blending and creating a shadow just on the edge. So you're just creating a shadow just on this edge and just on the edge here. You're dragging some of that Distress Oxide out. Now, if it doesn't produce enough colour for you, just pick that up, a little bit of the vintage photo, and just create a little bit of a shadow with your vintage photo, just to drag that out a little bit. So you can add a little bit more detail, a little bit more depth of colour, just by taking a little bit of that, just a little touch, don't go and make it too overpowering. There we go lovely and then finally you're going to stamp your little flower from flower journey you're going to stamp this flower in black in black ink 
and then I've got the flower just on its own here because my flower is going to be added just here above the birds, just flowing over the birds. I'll then just colour that image a little, the flower, and I'm using my Ecoline pens as with snippet number five. I'm just using my Ecoline pens. This is scarlet. Just adding a little bit of scarlet and a little bit of reddish brown, just so that you can see that. I'm just going to add a little bit of depth of colour with the reddish brown. And then I'm going to go back with the scarlet. Just grab my water. Again, make sure you work clean. And that isn't clean because you've got the brown in. So make sure you work clean. Pick up that scarlet and then just blend out the colour. So I sort of blend it out with the same colour. Now, what I did with my previous flowers in snippet number five is I let them, I let it rest a little bit and went in with more layers of colour. So I'm going in with the darker colour again, like so. And then when this is dry and you've given it time, go back in with the red. I'm then going to add this to my project. Just add a little bit of that there, the adhesive. Add a little bit of my pin flare glue. Remember, don't add too much pin flare glue because you don't want to add too much bulkiness to your page. And that is going to go over my beards like so just tilt that a little bit just so that you can see that and then add some white splatters i'm leaving that red there because i shall go back and add more depth of color i will also add a little bit more white to my flower once it's dried to add those highlights let me just show you let's just so that is your snippet done if you bring in snippet number five you can see i've added these white highlights you can't do that until it's dry so this is snippet number six and it works beautifully with our previous page. So I just thought I'd show you an idea how you can still use this technique, that's slightly wider, this technique, but make it look completely different. So there is snippet number six. What I would do also, we've got a couple of seconds, I would go in, my brush isn't clean, but with a clean brush, because I've used red now, so it's not clean. So with a clean brush, make sure that's clean, pick up a little bit of this, and I would just go in just under here and just add a little bit of shading. Just water that out, just to add a little bit of shading. Let's take it out the book. And that, let me just take that out the book. And that is your snippet done. So just wipe off the excess and just blend that out. There you go. So I hope you've enjoyed snippet number six. I'm finding these rather addictive. But love to all. I'm really enjoying seeing yours. So love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.